All right, so today I'm gonna to show you guys one of our favorite Jeep build packages. So this happens to be Jeff's 2022 JLU Rubicon, and this is actually a diesel model. Uh, Jeff called us up and said, what do, you, what do you think you would do to this Jeep, Trevor? And he told me that he wanted to drive it a lot. Um, he wanted to get out on a lot of trails and hardcore trails, but wanted it comfortable on the road, comfortable for anybody uh, to get in it and drive it around. And this is what we came up with. And I think we came up with the ultimate package. So this package is 37 inch tires, three and a half inch lift, but we went ahead and put our long arm kit in it. So if you sneak underneath here and check it out, so it has our JLU long arm kit on the diesel, and yes, it does fit on the diesel. There's a couple tiny mods that have to be made when you're putting it in. One of the hardest parts is you have to take the entire exhaust system off. Um, but as you can see, long arm fit, fitting on, kit fitting on the diesel, three and a half inch lift. Here's the rear bracket. Um, some of the add-ons we did, as you can see, the rigid lights right here. So we did a, a six rigid light kit um, for rock lights underneath, and then to complement our long arm kit, um, we wanted to have a good shock package, so we didn't want to cut any corners. So uh, Jeff went ahead with the two and a half inch king, two and a half, uh, two and a half inch kings with clickers. So it's got those front and rear, um, like metal cloak three and a half inch springs, metal cloak bumps, uh, Rage Fourth rock sliders here on it. Uh, we've really been happy with those for for the last few months. Um, Something totally different and new that Jeff did, which we kind of followed his lead, is these are the new Icon bead grip wheels. And it's kind of like a bead lock, does the same thing. Uh, I think it's really cool. So basically the tire mounts and pushes up against the outer uh, ring of the rim, just like a regular rim. But if you see all these bolts right here, these bolts are extra long and stick way in. So the tire gets mounted with the bolts halfway threaded out. And then as soon as the tire is mounted, each bolt threads in, they have an O-ring on each one to seal the air, and so the outer bead can't pop off the tire. Um, so I think those rims are really cool, they complement this build. Uh, Nitto 37 inch trail grapplers, impossible to find the last six months. We were able to find Jeff a set of five of these things, and this is another thing that goes just awesome with this package. So the metal cloak three and a half inch coils for the diesel, uh, with factory fenders and factory inner fender wells, and the King Shock package, and the tires are not rubbing. You can full flex this all directions. They don't rub in the rear wheel well, they don't rub in the front rear, uh, wheel well. We did a little trimming uh, to the back section of the rear wheel well, uh, and just tuck some stuff away. But other than that, you know, everything fit great. So it's nice to have a Jeep that doesn't rub when you actually go hardcore off roading. Uh, when it comes to the front of this Jeep, you can see our new 7075 JL HD tie rod with a Fox steering stabilizer. And it also has our HD track bar in there, which is new as well. That has FK rod ends with chromoly uniball up at the top. And then our heavy duty track bar brace right there. While you're underneath there, you can see that it definitely has the new WFO nodular iron diff cover as well. So these covers are super low profile, um, just complement the build really nice. Uh, as you pan back a little bit, you can see the front bumper is a Poison Spider bumper, and it has a worn VR 10,000 S winch synthetic rope, and then rigid pod lights and a rigid 10 inch right above the fair lead. The Factor 55 um, Ultra Hook is on there, which is a killer upgrade to your winch, um, as well as the factory Factor 55 winch fair lead. Um, we'll sneak around to the uh, passenger side here. So anybody that's planning on actually doing some off-roading needs to have an air compressor. So we've been using the ARB air compressor mount that goes underneath the seat and the switch is built in and you just switch it on right underneath here. It's, right now it uh, has pressure built up so it won't come on. Um, and then we always set our customers up with the pump up kit for your tires with the ARB digital uh, air inflator and even the ARB digital deflator. So anytime you're four wheeling, airing down the tires is important. And uh, we wanted to make sure that that was easy for Jeff. Um, as you can see, tire tucked, no rub in the back of the fender, no rub in the front of the fender. Um, awesome to see on one of these Jeeps. Has the Poison Spider rear bumper with swinging tire rack that also relocates the license plate to the center of the back tire 
with a third brake light and a camera mount. And this is mounted on a spindle, not on the tailgate. So when you open the tailgate, it just swings open and close. One of the items we've been adding to every Jeep now, this is our JLU um, cargo basket. And we put the rubber mat in this one as well to stop any vibrations or sounds. Um, that basket can easily come in and out four knobs by hand if you're carrying something big. Fits with the top on, top off. Great upgrade for storage in the back of your JL. So for gear ratio, this is a diesel model. Uh, we went with 488 gears to match up with the 37s. So re-geared the axles and uh, wanted to have that everyday driving but still really uh, a lot of good power in the mountains. He is always driving over the Sierras, Highway 50 through Lake Tahoe. So with the eight-speed tranny and this peppy diesel motor, I think it's gonna hit just perfect on gear ratio and RPMs. Um, one of the final things we did, which you can't really see in there, is we added the S-Pod uh, Bantam with the touchscreen, and the S-Pod controls the rock lights, the front pod lights, the back lights, and the 10-inch rigid. Um, with plenty of room to put other accessories on later. So, in conclusion, this may not be a one-ton crazy 40-inch Jeep, but this Jeep may be a better option for most people. In fact, this, I'm falling in love with this Jeep as it is right now. It's your everyday driver, it's your hardcore wheeler. Um, it basically would fit everybody. Uh, I don't think I would change anything on how he built this. So, I hope you enjoy this Jeep and uh, Maybe we need to build one for you.